Hey guys, Lena here. Today I'm going to be doing book recommendations because uh, I've been reading a lot lately and I've found some really great books. Some of these are books that I read a while ago, some of them are ones that I read more recently. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you about them and maybe if you like them too, you should check them out. You should check them out and then let me know if you like them too. Okay, right, so the first book I'm going to be recommending is the part, Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Shimon Alexi. It's a beautiful book and it captures not only the difficulty of fitting into a society that you don't really, or a group of people that you don't really belong with, and like that kind of in-between feeling where you don't quite know who you are. Um, it captures that really well, but it also captures the beauty of family and friends and the teenage angst and just feeling like you stick out and it's just beautiful and you should read it and I just love it. And yeah. The next book I'm going to be recommending is Ender's Game. I'm assuming everyone's read this, but I'm a bad person and I didn't read it until the movie came out because I watched the movie and I was like, oh god, what have I done? I have broken the code. I have seen the movie before I read the book and then I felt so guilty I went and bought it that day. And I loved it. It was so good and just the book and the movie were both incredible, funny, and I love sci-fi, so read it. Oh, and it is by... Orson Scott Card. Yeah. I'm sorry, my chicken's like making noise in the background because it laid an egg. Go ahead. The next book I'm going to be recommending is The Life of, or Life of Pi. This is my all-time favorite book ever. It is by Yen Martel, and it's about this kid and his family leaves India. Shut up, God, I am so sorry about my chicken. And, oh my God. Go away, go away, go away, come on, leave, leave, okay, all good. It's about this kid and his family leaves India to go to Canada, I believe, and on the way the ship sinks, and basically it's just like about his journey, Pi's journey, getting home, and it's just beautifully written, and it's kind of representative how, representative of how sometimes we're the real monsters, and... You can't quite, somehow, some, and sometimes the lines between human and animal just blur, and you can't quite tell the difference. And I just think it's beautiful and fantastic. And just, oh, read it, okay, you guys? Oh, the next book I'm going to be recommending, this is probably more for, like, a preteen reader or an early teen. I think it's a fantastic book, still, but, like, I know it, like, affected me the most when I was, like, 12 or so. It's called Addy on the Inside. It's written entirely in, like, poetry form. And it's by James Howe. I read this, I read the, f there's three books in the series, Totally Joe, Addie on the Inside, and The Misfits. It's about these friends and just going through middle school together. This one is one that affected me the most because Addie just reminded me a lot of myself. It's like, it's just that kind of, it's that weird time when you have like your first crush and you're dealing with all this weird stuff and you don't know any of the, like hormones, and you're like, what do I do? And it just, I really related to Addie's character, and yeah, I just thought it was perfect, totally perfect, and you should read it, and it's just, yeah, you should read all the books, but this one I think is the best. The next book I'm going to be recommending is The Compound. This book is about family and their dads, like, there's going to be nuclear wars, so we've got to live underground, and it's just, like, coming up about them, like, all their weird stuff, it's like, the ending you're like, okay, that was a totally pointless book. But the actual book itself, it's like, I love it because everyone's like so crazy. And I'm like, you, what? I just think it's a good read. And I like kind of post-apocalyptic books a lot. And yeah, read it. It is by, who is it by? It doesn't have the author. It just says it's by Bowden. What? Bodine? I don't know. Oh, S.A. Bodine, okay figure that out. Good for me. The last book I'm going to be recommending is a graphic novel. It is called Friends with Boys by Faith Erin Hicks. Which way is, I cannot figure which way, okay, that's the right side. And it's about this girl and let's see, I, it's just, she's been homeschooling her whole life and she starts high school and her, she's always been like best friends with her big brothers and this is just kind of about her like realizing like family is awesome but I need to have friends of my own and it's just kind of like about her journey transitioning from homeschooling to high school and I just think it's a really good read and 
you all should check it out. And it's just really good. And there's also some magic in it, which is fantastic. And graphic novels are just like a good light read. And yeah, that's about it. Um, that is the end of my uh, book recommendations video. You guys should subscribe to my channel, The Booktuber. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.